Losing is a great thing, but you know, failing is, is more of a personal decision, I think. If you quit, then you know, it is what it is. You mm -hmm. have to accept it. And mm -hmm. sometimes you do have to quit things. Sometimes you have to take a step backwards to take three steps forward. That's reality. There's, you should never hang on to things in that kind of negative way. Um, however, I look at the, I look at more at the lessons, you know, like we always see that. I mean, I think I fucking started it. There, there is no, or what is it? Uh, there, I don't lose. I only win or I learn. Is, I think I posted that in like 2012. Now it's like, don't fucking forget it. Let's be real here. Oh, am I? All right, cool. Yeah. I'll take it. Right. Well, dude, the thing is, is that I, I, I look at it that way for real. Like it's, um, it's a, it's a learning process. You know, I, I accept, I, I'm willing to accept losses. I'm not willing to accept failure. Um, I see the two things differently. You know, sometimes you're going to lose. Like if you're a fighter, you're going to fucking lose some fights. What'd you learn? How do you, how do you know, how, you know, how do I not get myself in that position again? How do I anticipate that? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, as long as you're able to do that, losing is a great thing. Um, but, you know, failing is, is more of a personal decision, I think. And, and, then, and then look at, instead of saying, oh, a failure, say it, all right, dude, I had an L. What did I learn from that? What was the lesson? You know, when you see L, you should think lesson. What was mm -hmm. the lesson? And that lesson contributes to a new tool or a new thought or a new concept that will help you get past that point the next time. It's sort of like playing video games, you know, like when we're kids, we get to that part where it's like, we can't get past it. We know that, you know, all right, dude, the dragon get my head off. Or <laughs> yeah. how do I not get my head bit off this time, right? Yeah. And you know, you do the duck move or whatever, right? And then eventually you figure it out and you get it, you get past it. And that's so how true. it goes. Well, Man. you know what you're actually saying right now is that losing is much more valuable than winning. Good. No, it doesn't. It doesn't ever feel as good. Be you honest. can learn <laughs> to understand the value that you can accumulate from your losses. You understand, you know, getting the medal or getting the trophy or getting this or that, that's cool, right? But it's not as valuable as it is to uh, to, to have a loss. For sure, me too. Like, I mean, you know how I am, dude. I'm a fiery yeah. human. Yeah, it's a huge advantage. Most people can't can't deal in those scenarios, you know? And so when you, when you are out there, uh, and I'm talking to you guys listening, when you guys are out there and you're feeling frustrated and angry and you're, you're feeling hurt and you're like, dude, this is just not fair, whatever you're telling yourself, uh, realize that you know, this is an opportunity to, to take inventory of, uh, of a new skill or a new tool, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. How would I avoid, how would I, how would I have avoided this scenario? How could I have not taken this loss? How could I have not lost that business deal? Or how could I have not, um, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. And, and, and that the, the importance of how you're saying that is, is that, you know, that is definitely not the narrative of what's going on in the world. Mm. The narrative is not, it's your fault. And guess what, guys? No matter what you hear right now, it is your fault. That's the truth. <laughs> okay? So you can argue about it. You can pout. You can cry. You can, can throw a tantrum. You can scream for as long as you want to scream. All you're doing is putting more time between you and where you want to be. And that's that's what you have to remember. Because at the end of the day, no one gives a you know what I've observed with this? I've observed that the people who have overcome real hardship don't, don't do that. I, yeah. And people who, it's become a marketing ploy on Instagram. And, I, and I, I see it everywhere. And I would encourage you guys to think about, am I posting this because I want attention or am I posting this because it helps somebody? Because, yeah, yeah. because dude, that there's a big difference between vulnerability and like fake ass Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm not discounting anybody's struggle, but I just, I'm going to tell you, dude, I've interviewed people who, you know, they don't have arms and legs and yeah. like, they don't make any excuses for any. <laughs> I, I've interviewed people who have lost hundreds of, and I, I know these people intimately, mm -hmm. hundreds of millions of dollars and they didn't, they said, okay, well, this is where we at. We're not going to do that shit again. 